Today's saint is Saint Mary Mazzarello, whose feast day is May 14th. She is the lady in the picture who is a religious sister. She also knew another saint named John Bosco, and that is the man that you see in this picture as well. So we're going to hear today about how they knew each other and what actions they took to become saints. As the daughter of peasants near Genoa, so she was uh, born into a very poor family, Mary worked in the fields. She was always fervent in prayer. So even though she had worked a long day in the fields and she was exhausted, she would always make sure that she prayed every day. And when she was 17, she joined a sodality of the Daughters of Mary Immaculate. Several years later, Mary became very sick and she could no longer work in the fields. So then she became a dressmaker with a friend named Petronella. The two women felt called to the Christian education of young girls in the same way that John Bosco reached out to help young boys. Uh, John Bosco was a saint who started many schools for boys at this time. And at this time, young people were uh, working instead of attending school, most of them, especially the poor people. So uh, Don Bosco wanted to, um, to have a school to teach them everything they needed to know, as well as to prepare them for um, jobs that would have better pay in the future. And he, one of the things that we always remember about John Bosco was that he was a juggler. He liked to juggle for the, for the boys in his school and uh, to make them laugh. But uh, Mary and her friend Petronella felt that they should start a school too. Uh, but this time this school would be just for girls since John Bosco's school was just for boys. So they began teaching young girls in their area. In 1872, about 200 years ago, Don Bosco founded the Daughters of Our Lady Help of Christians, also known as the Salesian Sisters. And Mary was made the head of that group of sisters who taught girls. The community spread quickly. Many, many women started to join them and it expanded its goals to charitable works as well as teaching. So helping the poor with many other things, not just teaching. In Mary's lifetime, 13 houses were established for these sisters. Now there are over 800. Mary died in 1879 and was canonized or made a, a saint by Pope Pius XII in 1951.